Hello everyone, I'm back with another video for you. Today we are going to take a look at one of these. Boom. Power Reserve Theme Deck from Jungle Set. Uh, this came out in 1999 with the Jungle Set for uh, English Pokemon. Many, many people in that were interested in Pokemon have had this deck. This is a very common deck to have. Uh, I would say this was almost as common as the original two-player starter deck with the Machamp in it. Uh, the reason I am showing you guys this deck is because I actually want to open it. Uh, the Kangaskhan inside, if it grades a 10, is a very valuable card. Uh, even though it's not first edition and it won't be a no-symbol card, um, even a nine is pretty valuable. These these decks, I think, sell for about $50 nowadays, maybe 60 bucks. Uh, so if you get the Kangaskhan and it grades a nine, you may not break even. If it gets a 10, though, you'll be uh, skipping all the way to the bank. So you can see back in the day, this one actually came from Borders Bookstore. <clears throat> Rest in peace, Borders. I don't think they exist anymore. Uh, unfortunately, I liked that place a lot when I was a kid. So eleven ninety nine. that's what these used to sell for. Now they're, I think, again, 60 bucks or something like that. So uh, you get a Hollow Kangaskhan inside, as you guys probably well know. You get a, a Pokemon coin, 60 cards to create a, a deck with. And uh, yeah, let's just jump right in. Boom. Can't go back now. So if the Kangaskhan isn't totally perfect, that's okay. I'm not going to be super heartbroken. Mostly because these aren't very expensive. Uh, I believe I actually only paid maybe $35 or $30 for this because I bought this a couple of years ago when they weren't uh, as expensive as they are now. Everything's been going up in price a lot lately, so... Um, let's see how this goes. This one's opening from the side. Interesting. Do they all open from the side? Probably. I'm not sure, though. I know that the Machamps that can have Shadowless, uh, I'm sorry, the decks that can have Shadowless Machamps open from the side and not from the top. Wow, look at that Vile Plume coin. Ah. That's really cool. Let me get a little close up, see if it'll focus in on him. Wow. That's pretty cool. Very sprackly. Excellent. Uh, I actually want to potentially grade this coin. I have some other coins that need to be graded, so I'll just plop him in a sleeve. Shake them on down there, set you aside, and let's see what we got in here. Okay, let's just get these out of the way. We got some counters, very cool. And boom, there is what we're looking for, Kangaskhan. Uh, he looks pretty good in the wrap, so I, I don't see, you know, luckily there's no like seam where there could be a glue stripe uh, like on the old Shadowless decks you could get Mewtwo or, or whatever in the Zap deck, stuff like that they would have a, a seam that went right across the front of the holo card so the glue in that seam over the years would seep into the card or onto the card and it would re it'd be really ugly and it just essentially destroys the integrity of the card and it will never get a good grade that way this uh, Kangaskhan looks really nice, however. Uh, it could be having some issue somewhere that I can't see because it's under the wrap, so we'll, we'll get inside of it real quick. Uh, that did not come out right. But uh, anyway, let me just carefully get this plastic opened. And I think, yes, we are in. I don't mind if any of the other cards get a little nick or something, but I really want to save that front Kangaskhan. It's mostly all I care about in this deck. All right, there we go. That was helpful. All right, and slip it right out. Cool. So I'm just gonna separate him, set him aside, set these down and I'll sleeve him up. Actually, I'll sleeve him up in a second. Let's take a closer look with no sleeve. So, wow, look at this. To be honest, the hollow you know what this means? looks essentially perfect. This will drive the girls crazy. Let's see if I can get a good angle for you guys. Look at that. Oh, maybe there's some faint print line there. 
I have seen worse on PSA 10s, but wow, that hollow really lights up for you. Uh, although I do see on the edge, there's a little bit of silvering. Again, I've seen hollows with little tiny scratches that have gotten 10s, and I've seen cards that have silvering that have gotten 10s. Uh, the backside looks amazing. The corners look really crisp. That top corner actually almost looks too sharp. Uh, almost like it didn't get cut quite enough so uh either way this will definitely grade a nine if i had to guess if it gets the 10 i will be very pleasantly surprised uh i do still think it was worth opening because this king's con is really nice looking so i'm happy to have it uh certain sealed product just doesn't excite me so much as others and the power reserve deck is one of those ones that's not a real exciting sealed product for me so i'd much rather have the really nice shiny kangaskhan out of it and there it is so i'll set it in the background and we can just go through let's get a good angle on it we can just there we go we can just go through these cards real quick see what you get inside we've got oddish oh well, oddish again uh, Nidoran Girl, Nidoran Girl, Nidoran Girl, okay, Nidoran Girl. Bellsprout, Bellsprout, Bellsprout. Two Weeping Bells. You get some Nidorinas. Gloom. Oh my gosh. You need a, you need a tissue or something, dude? You look like you're having an issue. Ha. <laughs> Abra, Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam, just kidding. Although you do get to Kadabra, which is pretty cool. Fun fact, they don't print Kadabra anymore. Is it because of him giving you the middle finger? No, it's not actually. Uh, it's because of some guy who thinks he's Kadabra in real life. So he's got an issue with the Pokemon Kadabra. It's a long story. You can look it up. But um, yeah, I always love Kadabra. Uh, a really powerful card too, by the way, uh, in the uh, TCG if you ever played it. So Kadabra is super badass. Jinx. <laughs> Jinx had some problems of her own back in the day, too. You guys can probably uh, tell why. Uh, sound off in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Switch, potion, energies, whatever, boring stuff, all back here in the back. Some more energies. And that's uh, that's all the cards you get. The only real other thing that comes with this uh, deck is the rule set version 2. Um, really the only difference is they updated some of the, the wording and the rules and the Charizard that they show inside as an example Pokemon card isn't the first edition awesome one, so this rule book isn't quite as cool, but it is useful to have. If you ever want to play Pokemon, this is great to have because sometimes you might forget some of the little rules they have. Um, so there you have it, guys. That is what's inside of the Power Reserve deck. So thanks for tuning in. Leave a like, uh, subscribe, leave a comment. If not, I'll just see you in the next video. Take care.